All right, here I have a Milwaukee. It's a variable heat gun, and it's model MHT3300, and I'm having problems with it. So every time I hit the power button, it'll turn on for about maybe 15 seconds, and it'll shut off. Or when I hit the power button, these lights up here will start blinking, and it never really starts. So I'm going to show you how to fix this. Also, if you're having problems with your Wagner heat gun, it's basically the same thing. It has a variable heat, and this is model number HT3500. So here's the root of the problem. The capacitor has been blown, and this is a 470 microfarad. It's a 10 volt, and it can withstand up to 85 degrees. So all you need to do is just replace this capacitor. So I grabbed my capacitor off this old power supply for a computer. And when I took it out, the rating is still the same. It's 470. It takes 25 volts, so that means that the maximum it could take is up to 25 volts. So although the other one was 10 volts, this one is actually better because it could take up to 25 volts before it explodes. And this one can take temperatures up to 105 degrees Celsius. So again, this is a lot better because the other one was only up to 85 degrees Celsius. So the first thing you want to do is just get an X-Acto knife and just cut these labels off. So that way it's just easier to take apart. So here's a capacitor that needs to be replaced. I already replaced it and the original one went right in there and I just desoldered it and I just grabbed the one that I took off the power supply and then just solder it back in. All right, the first thing you need to do is discharge the capacitor. All you need is an insulated screwdriver and touch the two leads. And what that does is take all the electricity out of the capacitor. Once that's done, take off the four screws. And what they'll do is just take the cover off here. And when you desolder this capacitor, it's just easier to take off. Comparing the old capacitor with the new capacitor, you notice that the size is a lot different. It'll work as long as the rating is exactly the same, which is 470 microfarad in this case. Also, you'll notice that the terminals are a little bit off. All you need to do to fix that is to get a needle nose pliers and just bend them inwards a little bit. And when they line up, you just stick it into the circuit board and you just solder it in. If your terminal is not reaching all the way through the circuit board, you're just going to have to go buy a new one. And just make sure that it's the same rating, 470 microfarads. Before you install this new capacitor, you want to note this polarity. On this capacitor, you could tell because there's a gray bar with negative signs on it. If you install this capacitor in reverse order, it will explode on you. And the positive side will be facing out. So this lead here would be positive. It's also marked on the circuit board as a plus, so it's pretty much fail safe. Okay, once you solder on the capacitor, you want to make sure that when you put everything together, it's not pinching any of the wires. So what I'm going to do is grab these wires, kind of lift it up, and tuck it underneath this green wire here, and tuck it down there, and make sure that all your wires right here, there's a little groove. So you can just put it in, and also this top part, and I just tuck it under here like that. Final step is just to test it out. On the old Milwaukee one, it doesn't automatically cool off. So what you need to do is that before you shut it off, you need to hit it to cool. The new Wagner ones, when you turn it off, it will automatically default to cool. So it will cool everything off. And I think that's one of the problems with this one, that the capacitor went out because the internal heat here was too hot or it just is old. And there you go. Another heat gun that was broken. We fixed it. And it's good as new.